Hello everyone, my name is Mahendra and I'm a trainer in ICC Foundation. Today in Etiquette and Grooming, we are going to learn about Introduction to Grooming and Hygiene. In today's session, we will understand what is the role of grooming at corporate world in terms of dressing or looks, hygiene and body language. Look at all these pictures one by one and what kind of impression do you get? Look at the first picture. Does this person look professional to you? What about the next picture? Would you like to look like her? If you ask me, I would say no. What about you? I'm sure you would not like to look her, her, like her too. Now look at the third image. There are four different images of the same girl. In the first image, this girl seems to be bored and casual. However, in the fourth image, she looks entirely different. She looks much presentable, professional, neat and tidy. Now, look at the fourth picture. What if uh, someone similar looking like him comes across at your workplace? He looks so unhygienic. With his facial expression, he seems to be irritated. And what is the impression about other pictures? So it is very important to maintain good grooming, maintain personal hygiene and carry good body odor in order to create first impression in front of others. There are three different elements of grooming. First is dressing, second is hygiene, and third is appropriate body language. Let's understand these one by one. Let's start with dressing or looks. When it comes to corporate dressing, it has to be as per company standard. For female, the hair has to be tight. There can be little makeup or light makeup at the face. And when it comes to dressing, there are two styles. Western and Indian. As per Western style, a female can wear shirt along with trouser or skirt. As per Indian style, it can be suit or sari. Nails has to be trimmed. When it comes to shoes, the heel can be from 1.5 inches to 2.5 inches. Now let's talk about dressing for men. Hair has to be short. Facial hair has to be removed or trimmed. When it comes to dressing, the shirt color has to be light and trouser can be dark. Shoes has to be always polished. It can be either black or brown in color. We will learn more about grooming in detail in grooming session. Now, let's talk about the next element of grooming, which is hygiene. When it comes to hygiene, there are three important things that need to be kept in mind. First is nail hygiene. Nail has to be trimmed and it has to be clean. When it is dirty, it can cause infection and it looks bad also. Facial hair has to be trimmed or removed. And always remember, everyone wants to be around someone who carries good body odor and wants to avoid someone who carries bad body odor. We will learn more about uh, this hygiene in detail in other sessions. Now let's talk about next element, which is body line. Our body communicates more than words. So it is very important to maintain good body language in order to make good impression in front of others. Body language includes eye contact, facial expression, hand gesture, and body posture. So maintaining eye contact, having open and relaxed body posture, smiling face reflects positive and confident body language in front of others. However, negative body language reflects disagreement with the person you are communicating with. So understanding body language enables better self-awareness and self-control. Now, in order to sum up, let's watch an interesting video. So always remember, it is important to be well-groomed from top to bottom, maintaining personal hygiene and using appropriate body language in order to make good impression in front of others. I hope you have understood and you will start maintaining it too. Thank you.